Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Real Trio. Today I'm giving you five reasons why I hate my Yamaha R3. Coming in at number one, we have the factory turn signals. The R3 overall has a very sleek design. Then you come to the turn signals. Bulging out from the side, it definitely detracts from the overall design of the bike. Now, usually factory parts aren't a huge deal because you can usually replace them. But in the case of the turn signals in the R3, it's very hard to do so. The only other alternative is to get flush mounts, which aren't very safe at all. Because of their odd looks and their limited alternatives, the turn signals on the Yamaha R3 have earned their spot on this list. Up next, we have the lack of a rear tire hugger. Most sport bikes offer a rear tire hugger to protect the bottom from dirt and to add to the overall look of the bike. A rear tire hugger is something I feel many people didn't notice about the R3. In fact, I didn't even notice it until my brother pointed it out to me. However, now that I know it's not there, it is something that I wish the bike had. Having a rear tire hugger would complete the sporty look of the Yamaha R3, which is why the lack of one has earned spot on this list. Up next on the top 5 things I hate, we have the stock levers. Now I couldn't get any footage of the stock levers on my motorcycle because I don't have them anymore. I replaced them with these super nice black and red adjustable ones. But the stock levers are definitely hideous, the color is off, and they're huge for the bike. Although the levers were easily replaceable and had cheap alternatives, they definitely earned their spot on this list because of their ugliness. Next on my list is something that you may not have thought of, and it's the temperature gauge. Now the temperature gauge on most bikes offers a degrees Fahrenheit, degrees Celsius reading where you can actually see the numbers. On this bike, little bars just pop up. And the reason why I don't like this is because you can't get a precise reading of what the temperature actually is on your bike. I wish there was really a temperature gauge so I could know when my bike is too hot and when it needs to cool down. But I guess having something like that on a beginner bike is a little bit too much to ask for. And I am generally happy with the layout of the dash, but it is something that I wish they added. The last thing on this list is the front suspension. The front suspension on the Yamaha R3 is very squishy, and when braking, it definitely compresses very easily. The front suspension isn't nearly as good as the back suspension, which is unfortunate because it gives an awkward feeling when riding. As you can see here by this very precise testing, the Yamaha R3 suspension is very, very squishy. Now it's kind of a feeling that I can't really explain to you, it's something you have to feel, but it definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. These are the top five reasons why I hate my Yamaha R3. Really, there's not a lot of good reasons why I hate it. It's a great bike. I love it a lot. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for our next episode. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.